This is Skid Row, America's land of zombies. Known to be one of the most dangerous places in the USA, Skid Row is home to thousands of hard drug users living under tents in the heart of downtown Los Angeles. Rapes, murders, and robberies occur here on a daily basis, and although a police station does exist, right outside its doors you'll find users participating in crystal meth and fentanyl, America's leading cause of the drug epidemic. Today, I've taken to the streets into the sectioned off city of tents to see what life is like for the people of Skid Row. I'm Arab. I spent my early 20s locked in my room as a professional gamer. I quickly noticed my life passing me before my eyes. Now, I spend my time exploring the globe's most dangerous and undocumented places because riding the line of death is where I feel most alive. Behind me is the current state of Los Angeles. And for the past two days, there's been a flash flood warning. Today, I'm not sure if it's better for us or it's, if it's worse for us that it's raining, but we're headed to Skid Row, America's land of zombies. A street completely engulfed in tents, homeless fentanyl addicts, and people who have lost their lives to drug addiction. Hello, sick. Yes, <laughs> Welcome up. to LA. <laughs> Bro, you are hey, nice. Take. <laughs> I see you're strapped with your weapon, bro. An umbrella. <laughs> this is Young Martyr. Martyr is a legend in the Australian rap space. I met Young Martyr at a music festival in Australia. He had this Australian Sikh cunt aura to him. And I mean, who better to do some crazy shit with than the Aussies? Let's go to get row, boys. I have these gentlemen in my car, you know, I'm driving Uber, and they're, okay. um, they do documentaries, and they want to do one on Skid Row. Maybe I can get you to take them around to different people just to talk to different people on Skid Row. Yeah, that'd be easy. That's, that'd be easy. That's pretty cool. On our way to Skid Row, our Uber driver, <laughs> <laughs> she knows uh, people in Skid Row, so they're going to introduce us, show us around at the beginning takes away some of the danger of walking in as a stranger. You don't bother them, they don't bother you. Yeah, the, the concept more so is that, like, it takes one. Inside those tents, you might find babies, teenagers, adolescents, like, you might see a 12-year-old smoking crack with their mama down here. W. It's, yeah, W. No, no, that's, w. <laughs> no, that's W. That's, that's how that's how young martyr here ended up in LA. His mom was trying to become a crackhead, and mm. so they you knew the, the best ones. Were Australia here. breeds them different. Yeah, Australia, it's it's they're more like. That's where you're from. They're more yeah, manly. I'm Australian. I'm Australian. Okay. Yeah, he's a sick. I'm a sick. Is what they I call heard that, that word is not something to say out here I as well. Think, I don't know. I was like, I don't think that's a good word. <laughs> in Australia, it's like if you if you're a sick. You're like the most endeared, the most loved human being. Customs warned us about that, like you can't make up. Wait, this Customs it. actually warned yeah, you yeah, about yeah, that? Yeah, 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 they told us. <laughs> oh no, this is crazy. What's your first impressions on LA, bro? Are you crocky? Cracky. Crocky. Oh, not crocky, cracky. 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 Hey, appreciate it. Thank you right. very much. See y'all later. Interesting. We've got to connect in Skid Row without even having gone through yet. How are you? Koi. Hey, Rab. How you doing? Nice to meet you. So, we're in Skid Row right now. Uh, at least on the outskirts of it. There's tents everywhere. I'm from, the, I'm, from the, I'm from this place right here, Midnight Mission. This is a place where they help people get off drugs, they help people with the homeless, they help people with housing. With housing. If you notice they're building all these all these uh, buildings. Those right as there. well? Those ones over there too? Yeah, and those ones over there. Back behind, there's more places, you know what I'm saying? They, they put three billion into this. Uh, three billion? Yes. Yeah, so LA so LA is actually doing a, a good job at trying to get them off the streets. Doing a great job. All these used to be tents. You're in the, you're in the heart of Skid Row this, right this now. This is the heart of Skid Row yeah, right you now. You see it's being cleaned up. Okay. There's a lot of outreach efforts for Skid Row, including government housing, okay. food and drink stands, drug rehabilitation, and even showers, which we'll learn more about later in the video. But what's stopping most of them is their addiction to drugs. They just don't want to let it go. What are your initial thoughts on a place Fuck with this place. many tents and graffiti? Insane, huh? They, I mean, what's they, this set one, these, they set these on fire as soon as they get mad. Really? They burn their own shit up. Hey, that guy's pretty talkative. 
Oh, they did talk to you. Yeah, let's go talk to him. See, most people see a crackhead screaming and they walk the other way. I see a crackhead screaming and I walk towards him. Hey, bro. How are you? We're just, we're out here on the streets learning about people's stories. You, you live here? Yeah. How long you been out on the streets? 34 years. 34 years. You don't look like you do drugs. I do. You do? I do. What kind of drugs? Crystal. Is that crystal? Yes, sir. You're doing crystal right now? Yeah. How often do you do it? Every day. Every day? Every day. Wow. Every How many day. times a day? Every day, all day. So, well, it's, it, so like, what's one hit? How long does one hit last? One hit? Well, no. Like, if, I, if I'm going to hit a pipe right now like he is. Okay, one good hit for someone like you, it lasts you, uh, shit, an hour. So what do you work? Uh, I, I recycle. Oh, I you recycle. recycle? I recycle and I smoke and I pedal as a side hustle to, to, to keep that going. You pedal? Yeah. Listen, here's 20. Okay. But I got I got more questions. Yeah. That 20, where does that go? Okay, can you cut this? Yeah, yeah, I'm filming you. I'm filming you. Don't worry. Can we? I'm filming him, bro. I'm filming him. He's telling us his story. Huh? The lighter? Oh, okay, yeah, he's got the lighter. Well, getting into some heavy action here. I was actually enjoying the guy we were with, and the guy behind got angry. Yo, the guy behind's getting angry. Hey, he's going off, bro. Yeah, but so this guy's protecting us. You never told me your name, bro. I'm Rick. Rick, is that what you eat? Yes, sir. Can I see it? So is it ramen noodles? And, and, and uh, uh, skins. And skins, pig skins? Yep. Ramen noodles and pig skins. Do you, do you feel like the crystal meth makes you do worse or better? No, I do better, bro. Really? Yes, yes, yes sir. So you think it, it's, a, it's a positive force in your life? Absolutely. And you don't think if you got clean that you do that you would do better? Nope. Well, thank you, bro. No, hey, hey, I appreciate hey, it. Hey, thanks for thank thanks for chatting with us. Oh shit! His pants fell down. His pants are off. Yo, what's your name, bro? Tony Hernandez. Tony Hernandez. Okay. Tony Hernandez. Are you doing crystal meth right now? So right in front of the police station, there was a guy standing doing crystal meth, literally in front of its doors. Obviously, I can't show that on YouTube or this video would get striked. You can watch the full uncensored version along with hundreds of other videos of some of the most undocumented places in the world over on my site, ArabUncut.com. Hidden on the screen right now are five free codes that you can use to get a month free on ArabUncut.com, but you gotta act fast. So turn on your notifications by clicking the bell so you can catch the next one. I got you some cash, bro. Oh, Simon. Yeah. Bit. Smells like piss around here. It's a UFP, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think he, uh... Oh, okay, got you. Oh, I think he, uh... I think he... You think he's peeing himself right there? I think he was pissing himself. If the police officer's just sitting in there right now. Really? Then watch all this shit go on. It's not abandoned? No, that's, this is the back of the police station. Yeah, that's crazy. This police station looks abandoned, huh? So the police station's got a bunch of rocks out here so that people don't post up in a tent. You see it says police right there? It looks abandoned. All right, what are, you, what are your initial thoughts? This is f***ing scene. So this is a mobile shower for, for like, the homeless people that can come no charge? Nothing. Oh, that's cool. Wow. Do they have, like, a set time limit? Oh, yeah, 15 minutes. 15 minutes. And we provide uh, shampoo, uh, soap. Wow. Wow. Every day? Yes, sir. Wow. We got these showers here behind us that the homeless people here on Skid Row can come and... I feel like there's a lot of programs if you actually take advantage of them. There's a lot out here. Yeah. Coy, can you tell us more about the housing program? Yeah, well, the housing program is for people that need housing. You know what I'm saying? It's for the homeless that need housing. There's not only a housing, it's for drug rehab people. They let you come in there, you can stay clean for 90 days. You gotta, you have to turn yourself in there for 90 days. You have to turn yourself in, stay clean for 90 days. Yeah, and then they get you, help you get a job, and then they help you with housing. And while you're in there, they pay for everything, food, all of it. Everything is free. Wow. Everything's free, clothing, everything. So really, if you want to get off the streets, you can. Yes, you can. You see food trucks pull up all the time, feeding people. Do you live here in this tent? No. No? What about this car? My car. Oh, it's your car? Yeah. How'd you end up on the streets? I got an infection and uh, I couldn't work. And so you lost your job? Yeah, I couldn't work. And how's life on the streets? Is it hard? No, nah, not really. Chilling? 
Yeah, it, it gets hard sometimes. But Are you about to cook? I was trying to, but I can't find the gas. Uh, Where can we get you a gas can? Store. <laughs> How far is the store? Around the corner. Yeah, how much does a gas can cost? Uh, two bucks. Two bucks? Let's get That's you a right. gas can, bro. Wow. Yeah, this is my brother's tent. So this is your brother's tent? Yeah. So, so you, do you sleep here or he sleeps here? He sleeps here. He sleeps here and then you, you park near him? Yeah, I stay in my car. Do you guys cook together? You got flour tortillas, I see. That's a good choice. Good yeah. taste. Yeah, good taste, bro. Yep. And then, uh, do, you, do you have any plans on getting out of here or no? Yeah, I've been trying to get up. Uh, Houses for senior citizens, bro. Uh, that easy. I heard I heard they have programs where if you're 90 days clean, then you can get housing. No. What, how's that? Not, it, they, get, they put you in a shelter. But they put you in a shelter, right? Yeah, they, but you're not getting housing. They put you in a shelter. You would choose this over a shelter? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Shelter's that bad? Well, it's just they're all skilly and stuff, you know. Oh, wow. So you do eat good out here. Oh, you be eating good out here. Uh, not really. I just thought uh, when I can. <laughs> when you can. Yeah. Here, bro. That cool. should be enough thank to you. get a tank, yeah? yeah? thank you. Hey, it was a pleasure to meet you. Nice to you guys. Thanks for showing us your tent. Sure. Okay, as an Australian seeing this now, you've been in it for about an hour. I What's thought LA was f***ed up, but this is, yeah, this is, this is a culture shock, man. Like, we have some of this in Australia, but, you know. Not to this level, yeah? Not to this level, bro. San Francisco's even worse, I heard. San Francisco. Up. Hey, Coy, right, is San Francisco worse than this? Hell no. Not even Philadelphia? Uh, Kensington? Think, uh, Philadelphia, I th yeah, I think they're worse. They might be this, right there? This is this is the rich uh, Rich hero. <laughs> this is the rich hero. <laughs> so, so as somebody who is out here helping them, what are the biggest issues that you see uh, on a daily basis? Is it people not wanting to do it? Is it, you know, the government? What's stopping people from... They don't want to do it. They, 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 they give them houses. Half these people have have apartments. They want to stay in. Okay. So this is much cleaner than it usually is, right? Yeah. By the end of the night, this whole street looks like this. Really? Oh god. Oh man. But those look sad. Yeah. I wonder if they give their drugs, dro their dogs drugs. Scooby just whips out the. So how do, how does one join a homeless shelter? They have to sign up for it. They have to. Come, come and talk to a director here and sign up for it. And, and it includes rehab? Yes. Yeah. Like so right here, this will be the... the so this center the, includes the, rehab. So you so. you can come in here and they'll help you get clean. So these centers behind us have uh, free Narcan. They basically <laughs> give you... <laughs> this is one of the cool girls I met when I got here from Ohio. You out on the streets? Uh, I live in a shelter. She lives right live in the shelter. Home. How is life in the shelter? Uh, How do you get out of it? I'm trying to get housing. I've been here for almost a year. Uh, and it's either taking me about three or four more months. And you're clean? Yes. Nice. Well, clean good. for how long? That's for one year. One year. Good for you. Clean from everything? Except for tobacco? Uh, tobacco doesn't weed. count. Oh, you I smoke, smoke weed. weed. Yeah. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. Yeah. Okay. And what were you on prior? Uh, crystal broken heroin. Wow. Wow, getting clean off that is oh good for you. What's your next step on growing as a human and, and getting out of this life? I'm giving my daughter that. And going to school to be a phlebotomist. You're, you're going to school to be a phlebotomist? I'm, I'm going to go to school to be a phlebotomist. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And they pay for that? Uh, no, I'm going to go through DOR. And they could pay, they pay for that? They have programs to pay for education? Yeah. Okay, and when do you get your daughter back? March. Really? What, 15 months being clean, you get your daughter back? Wow, good for you. How old are you? 37. 37. I would like to say I'm proud of you. As someone who hasn't experienced it, I can feel, you know, what, what that's doing to you and good for you. Don't don't ever go back to it. So what was your first step to getting clean? I overdosed on fentanyl. You didn't just come take an Arcan and go back and do it again? You said, I'm almost gonna die, I gotta stop this? Yep. And did you know you were buying fentanyl? No. What, what did you think you were buying? Heroin. Heroin. What do you have to say to people out there in the world if you could give them a piece of advice about drugs? You use it to cope, and it's the hardest thing. The world tears you down, and that numbs everything. And it makes you feel like nobody, nobody cares because they're tearing you down so much. Yeah. I'm going to interrupt this conversation and say don't use it to cope. 
Guys, I have seen a lot of things in my life with my own eyes, from African poverty to high-level cartel hitmen. And the worst of worst is people who take drugs. Nothing in your life, no matter how low you are, is worth taking meth, heroin, or fentanyl. Don't do it. Not if the girl asks you to. Not if your friend asks and says, fuck it, it's just one hit. Don't do it. What about your, your family, your parents, your siblings? Um, most of my siblings are adopted. Um, I have an older sister. She does her own thing. She judges me because I used to be a drug addict. For how many years were you on heroin? Um, I was on heroin for five years. I was on crystal I was five years old. Uh, out on these streets no. of LA? No, um, I got introduced when I was nine by um, somebody who I call my dad, and he used it. Wow, and then he gave it to you? Yeah. What? Like, what a different perspective that you have on life than I have. Because that, like, how do you even get away from that? You know, that's somebody who's your father figure throwing you down that, that path. Maybe. The fact that you're able to get out of it, good for you. Let me try to help you a little bit here. Just don't show this, you know, just, yeah, don't want to get, but let me give you, that's a match, that's so, that's so good. Let me give you a hug. No, a good hug, come here, feel, feel what a, a good hug is like. Nice nails, by the way. Yeah, the nails going yeah, off, though. Taking, taking care of yourself with those nails. But man, it's, it's crazy to me that, you know, we walking through these streets have no idea what life is like for some of these people here. And look, while it is easy to blame, like, don't get me wrong, we're out here laughing, we're cracking jokes and shit while we do it. But it's crazy that somebody at nine years old can be introduced to crystal by their parents. You know, that, how do you even get out of that? That's a double little house right there. Oh, really? That's a house? That's like a luxury apartment? That's, that's one of the luxury Oh, can, we, can you ask him? Because I don't want to be the guy to ask him to lower his music. Well, I wouldn't even ask him to do it. Really? I wouldn't even ask him to do it. All right, I'm going to do it then. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my balls of steel. Behind me right now is a luxury tent, okay? This is a suite, a hotel suite tent. And we're about to go inside. We're going to ask the guy if we can check out his hotel suite tent. Hey, bro, I was, we're doing a documentary. I was wondering if we could, uh, I'll slide you a hundred cash. Okay, cool, cool. Did a homeless person just tell you to f off for a hundred dollars cash? Yeah. They don't want it? <laughs> yeah. He's like, keep that shit, peasant. Yeah. Hey, keep your little <laughs> Sony <laughs> camera and f off. I just got called poor by the tent suite master. Okay, I get why you were scared. So, wait, let me ask you a question. As someone who knows more about this than me, why wouldn't he show us inside? Is he running an operation? Is he worried that his shit's well, gonna get stolen? There's no telling. He might think that we're the police. He's probably scared. Oh, you have to say that you're not the police yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. That's what a policeman and would that's say. That's what a policeman would say. <laughs> there was this guy on the side sweeping water. Don't do drugs, kids. Is he starting up? This is the medical center right here. This is the medical center. So this is, this is where you get the Narcan. The, the, the Wesley Health Center, this, this is where all the homeless people come to for to get their, you know what I'm saying, get help. Or get the help. Or shots or anything like that. Okay, for what? Like HIV, AIDS, from needles? All that, all that. You can, you can stump your toe and, and go in there and get help. Across the street are more luxury tents. This right here is an entire like full tent market. It's all sectioned off. It, every race is in, it, every, every race is, in, every, every in their block. Yeah. Every race got their block. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Cuban? Yeah. You can say so, yeah. So word's gotten around the block that uh, that we're here for the Cubans. So we need to keep moving now and get out of the Cubans area. Jesus Christ, the Bible says how that Christ died for our sins and that he rose again the third day. Are you here to convert the people that are out on the streets? I'm here to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, strap. wow. Oh, he just pulled a strap. He, he is strapped. That's for you. Not for me. Yes. Come on, bro. This is yours. I have a ton of them. That's for you. I'll keep this. I will read the New Testament and just ask God. Say, God, if you're is real. Is there blood on that? If Jesus Christ is real. A little bit of blood on there. Understand. No. No, I understand. Jesus. Blood of Christ. Ah, oh, facts. <laughs>
blood on the Bible? Yeah, there's blood on the Bible. It's the word of God, bro. If God wants you to... You can set it down somewhere if you want. Like, yeah, okay. Don't set the Bible on the ground. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. Oh, no, no. See, now I'm you're going to offend the Christians. Now you're shit. trapped. Just you have to burn it, I think. That's how you f*** with people. The only way to get rid of the Bible is to burn it. Got some HIV blood on here, and then you start holding <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, yeah, go, okay, go convert somebody else. Uh, hey, take one or double it, give it to the next. <laughs> you're locked in the affiliate marketing scheme. No. <laughs> We're here preaching the word of Christ. Word of Christ? Word of Christ, go ahead, tell him. Jesus is real. Rocky, mate. You want, you want this? I have a, I have one at home, and I wouldn't want to get it wet. Either. What's that whole rig you got yeah, on your back? That looks pretty cool. Um, That is for spraying the haters. Spraying the haters? <laughs> spraying the haters. Don't you, have, you have a water gun for spraying the haters? Well, no, it's more than just a water gun. It's a spiritual... You know what I'm saying? Holy water. I'm no hater boss. Okay, no, no hater boss. That's yeah. your name? Yeah. The first hater in the history of time was Cain. Hated his brother so much. Cain and Abel. Oh, Cain really? So you Cain. are religious? Yes. Now, you you take dope? I have been experiencing dope and going through. I was on heroin and fentanyl. I've been clean off of it for two years. Two years? Yes. And now you don't take anything? I take some things. Okay. And, meth? Um, I, nah, you know, that meth is it, chemical. Yeah. I take what comes from the earth. Mushrooms. Marijuana, no marijuana, sometimes coca leaves. Coca that leaves. Comes from the earth. You, you do the leaves, not sometimes cocaine powder? Everybody does. What do you think of the Illuminati? The Illuminati, I'll be honest with you. Like the globalists. Do you think the earth is flat? No. You don't think the moon landing was fake? No. What about the fact that we haven't had anybody go to the moon since the first moon landing? Because they found something up there they don't want you to know about. Let me tell you something. When you got trillions and billions and trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars, you can build anything. So they already built the city up there. So Wait. you think there's a secret moon society that all the global elites... Completely. Yeah. Okay. And tell all the haters, I said, well, I know where y'all are hiding now. They, they don't breathe the same air we breathe. Yeah. They don't walk and do the same thing. Yeah, y'all are afraid of the wrong people. You guys should be afraid right now of no hater boss. What I you got to tell the internet, if you could tell them one thing, the entire world. Don't be a hater. No like, hater boss. No hater boss. Do I got no. the end pass? Yes, you do. You mind, you mind. Stay non haters, my nigga. You know what the nigga is? is the one that jumped off the slave ship and said, I ain't going to America slave and shit. I'm signing you some cash. Don't tell anybody. Thank you. I ain't kidding. These right here, they open them up for apartments now. They used to be just buildings, so you can pay. I get paid three hundred dollars a month for one of these right here. Damn, they got the whole grill set up here. Bro, this looks better than my backyard. This is definitely luxury. It's like a little antique store. Yeah, a luxury like a barbecue. Hit it with the boys. Bring some steaks. Man, check this, bro. They got couches that they're hoarding. Uh, a, a locked up van. Honestly, man, this place is mad. You like, look behind me, bro. On my left is uh, is hoarded couches and a homeless luxury tent suite, okay? Where the guys got their own little community going. And you got an alley filled with graffiti. So you got this unique tent set up here where they tie it to something at the top and it creates like a natural landslide that gets the water away. And then you have a house without having an actual tent. So that's a pretty cool concept there, you know, very common to just tie up against the fence and have it lean down like a triangle. He asked how we met uh, on Hugo. We met on a gay dating app. <laughs> really? No, no, bro. So behind me is where all the homeless people get jobs. A lot of toy shops around us, more toy shops over there, some beauty shops, just like the Louis Vuitton. Oh, yeah. Get that real LV. Is that your type, boy? I love you, girl. She don't talk back. That's, but that's the best one they don't You're talk the back. the best one? Yeah. Look at that. Oh, California Republic. That's my favorite flag right there. The rainbow. Oh, you know I love that. That's your favorite too, right? You're Australian. I am a fan. I want to get signed by record labels. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> we love it. <laughs> Wait, come pose. Come, come pose as an ally. We're allies. Now we get all the girls. Yes. <laughs> we're getting all the girls and we're going to get deals. It's a blessing nobody pulling those machetes out on you. I was kind of hoping for it. I'm down to go somewhere where they'll pull a machete on us. Oh, this is where the police come in and out? Yeah. Hey, bro, are you staying outside the police station for protection? No, I, I lived in this apartment for all the four years. Oh, you lived across the street. And then how'd you end up right here? Because they're redoing the whole building. And they're kicking out everybody, all the tenants. How long have you been out on the I street? I got 26 years of uh, professional career work. I graduated from USC Business School. Then I 
transferred to Warner Brothers Records for 14 years. I was signed to them. He was signed to Warner Brothers. We probably worked together. Yeah. So you worked in financial planning. How'd, yes. how'd you end up, if you don't mind me asking, out here on the streets? Because they kicked me out. But if you were in financial planning on, on Warner Brothers, like where did where well, was then the... Well, transferred to DreamWorks Records. Where, where did it all go, like where did it switch? Where did the demeanor switch? I came downtown because they were moving into entertainment. Okay. But that turned out to be a, a, a farce. There's nothing down in entertainment in downtown. Here's 40 bucks. You're kidding me. Yeah, buy yourself a jacket, bro. You, I can tell you're cold out here, man. My name is Jimmy Mazzarella, like the Italian pizza. So I'm down here all the time. So anytime you want to get a hold of me, just come and look me up. Have a good day. Good luck to meet you, man. Okay. Take it easy. That's it. Watching Skid Row. What do you think? Final thoughts of Skid Row. It was f up. Hey, there's some really cool people out of there. What's that boy's name? No boss. No hater. No boss. hater boss. No you hater boss. You say he's cool, but then you don't even remember his name. I'm a hater boss. <laughs>